and welcome to this video comparing two of the best Grand Touring automobiles available, the Jaguar XK and the BMW 6 Series. I'm Ian Balfour, Jaguar trainer, and I'm excited about showing you how you can demonstrate Jaguar's advantages to your customers who are shopping the competition. BMW offers many models in the 6 Series lineup, both coupes and, like this one, convertibles. There's also what they call the Grand Coupe, which is actually a four-door. We'll concentrate on the convertible here. The 6 Series is offered with two engine types, the 640 with an inline 6, the 650 and M6 with V8s. All engines have what BMW calls twin power turbos with available horsepower from 315 to 560. Be aware though, the powerful M6 with 560 horsepower also comes with a $1,300 gas guzzler tax. An all-wheel drive system called X-Drive is available on the 650 coupe and convertible for an additional $3,000. The 6 Series is immediately identifiable with a look at the grille and that famous twin kidney shape. There's a small controversy on styling introduced for the 2012 model. Some didn't like the upfront kidneys and the recessed lights. BMW designers have said the design was to satisfy global pedestrian impact regulations. Xenon headlights are standard, along with LED fog lights. Full LED headlights are available and are on the vehicle we're using here today. The rear has been described as traditional, and that's coming off a previous design that was polarizing at best. Overall, Edmund says of the 6 Series, it's not as elegant as the Jaguar XK's streamlined design. Now let's take a look at the XK. It's offered in the entry level and therefore reduced price point XK Touring model, the XK itself, the XKR, and the extremely aggressive XKRS. All are available in both coupe and convertible. All engines are V8s with XK Touring and XK powered by a naturally aspirated 385 horsepower motor. XKR and XKRS are powered by supercharged 510 and 550 horsepower motors, but never a gas guzzler tax. The XK has a clean, athletic, sensual design, streamlined as Edmonds said. It's got an aluminum structure for strength and light weight. Only the hood and doors are aluminum on BMW. As a result, the 650i carries a weight disadvantage of nearly 500 pounds compared to XK. On XK, bi xenon headlights with leveling, LED signature lights, and corner lights are standard. The convertible top is available in seven colors compared to only three on the 650i. But here's something more that XK offers extraordinary tires and wheels that fill the wheel wells for an excellent design touch. XK Touring has 19-inch wheels, and all other XK trim levels have 20s. The 640i has 18-inch wheels, and the 650i only 19s. And BMW only offers run-flat tires. No spares are available. In the rear, LED tail lamps provide the Jaguar XK signature when driving away. And there are rear fog lights you won't find on 6 Series. Let's take the Jaguar XK convertible and match it up against the BMW 650i convertible. First, we'll talk about luxury and convenience features. Then, we'll hand them over to a professional driver who will take each car through its performance paces. At all times, we'll try to give you insight, awareness, and even word tracks to use with your competitive shopping customers. So here we are in the BMW 650i. Very nice inside, as you'd expect in a car in this price range. Both the XK and the 650i are considered 2 plus 2 when it comes to seating. Very comfortable front seats with smaller rear seats designed for kids or short trips with adults. The 6 Series has the renowned iDrive with this controller. It can be rotated, pushed, and tilted to operate various features shown up here 
on the display screen. Beyond those items, the 650i is well suited for an upscale experience. 20-way power seats with heat and memory are standard, although the memory is only for two drivers. There's wood trim and ambient lighting, and a 12-speaker audio system includes surround sound, HD radio, and satellite radio. Bluetooth also is included. Setting up the car for valet mode is kind of complicated. First, you lock the trunk down at the bottom of the center console. Then with the emergency key, you lock the center console itself. However, you can't lock the glove box or the audio system. Oh yeah, and the door handle? Two steps to get out of the BMW. The first pull unlocks the door, the second one actually opens it. Twice as much effort as on the Jaguar. Now let's take a look how the XK compares. Here's one thing that will be sure to surprise and delight your BMW shopper. The handshake that XK gives you when you start the car. Of course, the rotary gear shift rises to meet your hand and the touchscreen welcomes you in. While we're clearly used to the rising rotary shifter, a competitive shopper will see it as new and interesting and it's not available on any competitive car. XK uses a seven inch touchscreen to control audio, climate control, telephone, and navigation. It's easy to use and very intuitive. XK exudes luxury and convenience inside. You can see it everywhere in the leather, the wood, the look, and the feel. Now remember, we're comparing 650i to the XK model, not the 640i to the XK Touring. The front seats in XK have standard 16-way power and standard heat and memory. And that's memory for three, not two like the BMW. The seats also have active ventilated cooling. Ventilated front seats are only available on the 6 Series in the Executive Package, costing over $4,000. Ambient lighting leaves a phosphor blue halo. The standard radio in XK is a 14-speaker Bowers & Wilkins surround sound system. Satellite radio is also standard, along with Bluetooth wireless technology. While we're here inside, talk about the steering wheel. It's heated, and that's standard. But on the 6 Series, it's only available as part of an option package. And cruise control is an easy one-step process. With BMW, it's two steps. First you turn it on, then you set your speed. But what about performance? Let's check that out with Hugh Golden, a professional driver for over 15 years. The XK was astoundingly quicker than the 650. In fact, it trounced it in our zero to 60 test. The BMW has 100 foot pounds more torque than the XK. I watched the BMW disappear in my side view mirror as I out dragged it down the zero to 60 lane. I would attribute the fact that we beat that BMW so badly to a weight advantage of 596 pounds. The Jaguar was that much lighter than the BMW. In the 70 to zero panic stop brake test, the Jaguar XK performed very well compared to that BMW 650i. In fact, I watched the BMW 650i go by me by complete car length, which of course would be a very significant advantage in a panic brake situation or at a racetrack. You want to outbreak your competition? Our Jaguar XK will outbreak that 650i. I'm now going to drive the BMW 650i through our slalom course. 650i has a 4.4 liter V8 engine turbocharged engine, 4,520 pounds this car, 50-50 front to back, but that's 200 pounds heavier than the 7 Series. As I drive through the corner, the lateral movement of that weight is significant, and it only allows me 40 miles an hour in the slalom. I now get to drive the Jaguar XK against that BMW 650i. This is the V8 normally aspirated engine, 3,924 pounds. Let's see how that 600 pound lighter XK does in our slalom. Very nimble, very tossable. The car is doing about 45 miles an hour through our slalom. 
In the slalom course, the Jaguar XK was just a marvelous drive. Very tossable, the car is small, it weighs 596 pounds less than the BMW 650i, and as a result, it was much quicker. By the end of the slalom, I was actually slowing down in the BMW, where in the XK, I was actually accelerating out of our slalom course. I'm now gonna drive the BMW 650i on our autocross course. It's got the 4.4 liter V8 engine, 445 horsepower, 480 foot-pounds of torque. That's my type of engine with more torque than horsepower. Let's see how it drives out of the corner. Doesn't feel like 480 foot-pounds of torque. Not very fast, honestly, for 480 foot-pounds. I turn in. The car struggles a little laterally with the weight of the car. The car's stable, but washing out. Again, hard nosedive as I come down into our chicane. Laterally, I'm gonna turn the car in and the car is struggling with that lateral weight. 4,520 pounds, 50-50 front to back. As I drive through this last section, our big right hand sweeping corner and let the car out onto the straightaway, I'm gonna manually shift because this is the upgraded eight speed transmission. About 90 miles an hour, I brake, turn in, come through our fast chicane. Again, the lateral forces of that 4,520 pounds makes it challenged on our course. I now get to drive the Jaguar XK on our autocross and compare it directly to that BMW 650i. This is a five liter normally aspirated V8. As I come down into our first corner, 180 degrees. What I'm looking for here is the torque coming out of the corner and you can feel almost instant application. It honestly feels like the Jaguar with 380 has more torque than the BMW with 480. As I come through this corner, very linear. That's 600 pounds lighter chassis for this Jaguar than that BMW, and I felt it. Into the braking zone, I also feel that weight here where the nose doesn't dive quite as much. As I come through our chicane, the car just feels nimble. I get into our high speed right-hander, and I'm gonna go ahead and let the car just track out. I'm gonna give it some throttle, and let's see what we can do out on this straightaway as I rock it out of here using all of that normally aspirated power. I'm into our braking zone. I'm slowing the car down, downshifting into my fast chicane. Again, it's just so nimble and drivable through this corner. While the 650i was good, I gotta tell you, this Jaguar XK on this course is awesome. The 596 pounds was evident almost everywhere on this track. Under braking, there was significant nosedive from that BMW 650i. Under acceleration, even though the BMW 650i has 100 foot-pounds more torque, I felt like the Jaguar XK came out of slow corners much quicker because the torque was there for me and available. And then just in a scenario drive with your clients, I would drop the top, I would get them to accelerate, I would talk about the functionality of the speed and the safety aspects, but remember these are sports cars, so get them out and drive them, go on every test drive, make sure they get full advantage of this XK, and they enjoy this Jaguar XK. Thanks Hugh. I think we've shown that the XK is clearly superior to BMW 650 when it comes to performance. As I cover the country visiting sales consultants and talking to customers, I'm always looking for what the customers are looking for and for what they're saying. Seems like the most common comment you get on BMW is that their prices are better than ours. The best response? Well, one comes right from Jaguar. It's the advantage of intelligent performance that's built into every XK. Get your customers on the road so they can experience the exhilaration of driving this great car. But it's more than that and can be summed up in one word, value. When it comes to luxury and convenience, the XK excels. Active ventilated cooled front seats, heated steering wheel, larger wheels and tires, all are standard on XK, but optional on BMW. These are features that luxury car buyers expect. And BMW doesn't even offer the convenience of touchscreen controls, the Jaguar Drive rotary gear shift, rear fog lights, or the lightweight aluminum structure. But what's the best way for customers to see the light when it comes to Jaguar? Of course, it's to get them in the XK to experience firsthand the luxury, convenience, and performance of this superior luxury grand touring car.